all we're saying is there's this world and there's also lots of other worlds that God's created. Yeah. And they're all connected to each other. Mm -hmm. Right. And they, they, they actually, there's a relationship of subordinate subordinacy one to another all the way. I, I hate to say up to the divine. I don't mean in any sense like that, obviously, but you know, mm -hmm. all the way in a manner, we sense all the way up to closeness to the divine reality. Okay. So, so, okay, so uh, just to get to your, your question sure. specifically, right. uh, the, the, the ultimate intelligibility of a tree is going to go right up to the Alam al Arwah and the, and the Ayana Thabata. The, the level of the level that the, uh, the, uh, Alam al, al, al Mithal is particularly explaining is the level of, uh, a Manawi dimension. Let's say just for the purposes of discussion. Right. Let's say, you know, a tree has these qualities of of the sense of of being a pillar of thabat, of giving, you know, it gives out oxygen mm -hmm. of uh, being a, a symbol of life, for example. Right. So I'm not doing ta'een of what is a tree in Alam al-Mithal, but the point is a tree is a symbolic representation in this world of something that in Alam al-Mithal is broader and mm. could potentially take other bodily forms other than a tree, mm. which might have the same meaning. That's 